not adjust your screen. You are now about to enter the world of the Knights of War. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Day two of uh, the second part of our HHN announcements, and that is the Curse of Pandora's Box. A fan favorite uh, overall, and I know it was Rona Rob's favorite maze of 2019, if not his favorite maze of 2019. Um, A maze that I enjoyed thoroughly, and I know Sammy, um, he liked it as well. Pandora's Box, Rob. Uh, Since this is your maze, we're going to let you start again, man, because I want to hear your excitement for this coming back. Okay, so so I know you know I know what people are saying. You know, the same maze, whatever. I don't want to hear the nonsense. I don't want to hear the negativity. This is what I have to say: you is me out, bro. Hold on, you call no, me no, 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 no. I'm not calling you out. I'm not calling you out. I'm just saying of, this is of yesterday's video of the exorcist. No, is, uh, no, no, no. This is this is what this is my heart right here. This is my heart. I really do enjoy uh, Greek mythology. Just the whole you know, Zeus and the gods and 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 all that stuff. It it's just very uh, it fascinates me. So. Um, when I went through, you know, Pandora's box in 2019, I would just, everything about it, the lighting, the way, you know, the, the first room you walk in when the door opens and, and all that stuff, you know, the artifacts and everything in that room, uh, just the way they used, um, like the, that, the, the sound and the lights, how they stuff was like fluorescent almost. I thought that was super cool. Just the whole maze, everything. I, and he, here's the thing. So when I went through it, uh, I got the Express Unlimited. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got the Express Unlimited. I went through this maze three times because I enjoyed it that much. So I I mean, you're not going to hear a complaint from me bringing this maze back. I feel like with everything that happened as far as, and I know what's going on with HHN and, and their budget and, you know, just the, why they're reusing stuff. For me, I'm happy they're bringing this maze back. I, it's an original maze. Um, you know, I this is probably one of these mazes that if not for, for 2020 and everything that went, went, uh, went on, we might've not seen uh, it again, but we get to see it again. Cause I really don't think they're going to do uh Pandora's box two or anything like that. I think this is probably going to be it. I know there was speculation a while back about maybe a Pandora's box two, but I really don't think that was going to happen. I think this is probably going to be it for Pandora. And, and I'm glad I get to go through it another time so i don't know i'm excited for it i love all this stuff it just reminds me of kind of like like an indiana jones style of maze with everything that's going on you know just all all, just everything all together i I love it so took a horror route (laughs) exactly exactly i like it though just just because it you for me when i walked through it i felt like i was discovering all this stuff and they i felt very immersed in the maze and i mean if you want to get me to like a maze, make me feel like I'm really there. And that's what they did with so, a Pandora's box. So you're saying if I got you a fedora, a brown leather jacket, a satchel and a whip, you would walk through the maze dressed as Indiana Jones. Like that. Yes. One thousand percent. One thousand and thousand percent. Yes, I would do that. That'd be good content. And I, and I believe Rob because Rob is pretty ballsy like that. <laughs> and I guess Som- uh, that can sometimes. make Sammy your short round then. <laughs> what happened? Your short round. Oh, I don't know. I don't know the Indiana Jones characters off the top ah, of my head. Hey. <sighs> kind of fan are you, and you always want to get on that ride at Disneyland. Yeah, because the ride is fun. <laughs> I don't know people's names. Short round. I barely know my own. His, short round was his little sidekick. Yeah, in Indiana Jones Temple Doom. Indy, Indy. Okie dokie, Doctor uh, Jones. Yeah. <laughs> also a uh, member of the uh, Goonies. Yes. Oh, that's his name. Sammy! Pandora's Box. It was located last year next to your favorite maze last year in 2019. Dun, dun, dun. I, I, bet he dun, dun, dun. I bet he wishes that maze would come back. <laughs> Every day. White walls are better than black Because you know walls, why? Bro. 
<laughs> we want white walls. We want white walls, man. We just want them all the time, all the time. Um, yeah, I mean, like, it's okay, Sammy. Go I ahead, say- go ahead, Sammy. It's okay. I think the same way you feel about The Exorcist is the way I feel about Pandora's Box. It's good. It's fun. Has some good scares. But, I mean, unless they change a room or two, I'm not like, we gotta go. I'm gonna Let's hit it three times. <laughs> Why? I mean, no, you're not. I have my own opinion, and I'm I'm comfort I'm comforted that I have my own opinion on this case. You're, you I'm are very a hundred percent entitled to that opinion, and I respect. Yeah. it. Yeah, yes, I think I think it's going to be fun. I just think once again it's going to be the same thing. Unfortunately, I mean, I would love if they change the rumor to you know adjusted some things, and maybe they will, and I will be pleasantly surprised. Am I disappointed? No. Am I super excited? No. I'm just content, content with this one. My turn. Yes, you can talk. Here is why I think Pandora's box will be a lot better than The Exorcist. Rob, what's the difference between the two? Wait, no, wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me, let me make sure you understood my my take on this. I didn't say it was going to be better. No, I, I understand. I just that. Said- no, I under, I understand that. And I, okay. and I acknowledge okay. that. Acknowledge it. You okay. Know, like Roman Reigns. But, Rob, what's the difference oh, between the two? Oh, oh man. It, I, I didn't study for this, man. I mean, I could name a bunch of, like. Overall, like, what's one? I think the, the answer he's looking for is one's an IP, one's an original. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what does that mean for the maze? The fact that it is an original, they could change that up however they want. They don't have to exactly. True. They don't have to have the same shit. They could, they can call it the same thing, and they could change a bunch of different things. Whereas the extra, I just uh, go ahead. I just don't think they're going to. I just think I think it was a hey, we couldn't get some other things, so. But but, but take this. We in still have we, we still too. have this stuff. Take this in consideration too, because it is an original mm-hmm. property. They can literally go into their warehouse and pull up stuff they didn't put into the maze the first time around. Whereas The Exorcist, you're locked into an IP, so you got to do stuff that's related to the film, and you really can't come up with original ideas for that for that maze. It's everything's related to the film. They did. They they made Texas Chainsaw Massacre an original, from what I understand. They made some changes to that to the, the Blood Brothers thing, didn't they? I mean, majority of that maze was based off the second film, though. Yeah. So. I feel like that's well known. I mean, there may have been a scene or two that they may have added that was original, but overall, that maze was supposed to be about Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Whereas Pandora's Box and Exorcist, well, Exorcist is literally, they've made sequels and, and spinoffs and whatnot, but the film they are focusing on is the very first Exorcist film. And there there is maybe some stuff that you can change and scenes you can add, but I feel like with Pandora's box, they can get really creative with past props and and really squeeze that into the maze where that is where it saves them a ton of money. Because I know Horror Nights, and this goes for any haunt usually, they reuse a lot of props because it is cheaper to do so. Uh, Knott's is a perfect example. They reuse their mazes for about five or six years, depending on how popular it is. And then they move on to something else, but they use a lot of those same props in the next maze. I think with Pandora's box, because it is an original maze, because they have the freedom to do whatever they want with that maze, we will get some new stuff. If we don't, I won't be disappointed because I enjoyed the maze in 2019 regardless. It was it was one of two original mazes that we had, and it really pointed us into the direction that we want more original mazes at the event, much like how Orlando is. I have also made the argument, too, that a lot of people come to Hollywood because a lot of the mazes are intellectual properties, and if you want to go see originals... Usually you go to like Knott's or Queen Mary or Hayride or Six Flags. I, I, I had just recently made that argument uh, in, in the Barbu Bros group chat. Um, whereas Orlando has an established system where they've, from the beginning, done a mixture of originals and IPs to balance it out. Um, I have always looked at Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood as the IP event. This is the event that if you want to be immersed into your favorite horror films, this is where you go. 
if you want to go see something original and, and something beautiful, Knott's, Hayride, Queen Mary, Fright Fest. In that order. <laughs> uh, in that order. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, in I order. love I, I, I love I, me some I, Fright I, Fest, but I, I get it. I think for me, it, it, the reason I put it in that order specifically is Knott's, and Sammy can agree with this on this, on me on the, with this one. Origins Alone. Fucking phenomenal. That maze was a, a love letter to not only Ghost Town, but to the event as a whole. Um, and, and from start to finish, scenic-wise, props, actors, was beautiful. It was raining inside. It I was, was inside, and it was inside, raining. Inside, bro. You know what I mean? And, and Sammy, speak on this a the little bit. The only thing I listened to. The only thing it was missing was raining blood. Du, du, du. Uh, yeah, you're right. Du, du, du. But uh, I mean, I, and that, that not just origins, but like you look at a property like Dark Ride, uh, Special Ops, uh, fucking Waxworks, Paranormal, Dark Entities, The Depths. I mean, these are just to name a few, and, and that doesn't even go back to like the past years. I mean, these mazes from start to finish are fucking phenomenal. So. Uh, I, and then you know, Fred Shadowlands, bro, pumpkin eater. Shadowlands, pumpkin eater. <laughs> yes. Even though they're not necessarily my favorite mazes, I would still argue that scenic wise, they look beautiful. They're sp- they're telling yeah. the story they need to tell, and and I I feel immersed into those mazes and into that world of whatever story I'm going to enter. Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. All the mazes are on the boat. All the mazes storyline and everything reflect the history of the boat. Therefore, when you walk onto those mazes, you feel immersed into that story, which I loved in 2019. Walking through the ship and then going through, like, the kitchen and then going through Feast felt like you were immersed into that storyline. You know, same thing with um, with uh, Lullaby. Obviously, it wasn't in the past they've had it in the actual pool where that is haunted with uh, the Scary Mary character. But they had to change it around due to because that area was unstable and... They couldn't, you know, work around that. But I still felt immersed in Lullaby. And, and, and not to mention, when you're walking through those mazes, you feel you feel like someone's watching you. And it's not just the scare actors. It's, it's just the history of the, the paranormal of that boat. Um, L.A. Haunted Hayride. I felt immersed in 2019. I fucking, uh, I, I loved everything about it. The mazes tied into the story. The mazes were great. Had a fun time. Never been to Fright Fest, but I'm pretty sure Rob can comment on that one. So that that's where you comment on that one. Well, here's the thing is is they are original and and I feel like with these, this is more like your haunt your like haunted house, like home haunt, but just extreme kind. And so I mean all the events give you a different taste, but yes, like you were saying, Hollywood, when I think of horror nights, I think of being like you said immersed in my favorite ip whether it be halloween whether it be texas chainsaw whether it be the exorcist so if i'm looking for original mazes and, and this is no shade on on now, yeah. halloween horror nights yeah Let this me add on i go somewhere thing. else i'm not saying horror nights don't do original mazes because that's not what i'm saying at all because the from the original mazes that they've done in the past they fucking blew me away yeah I'm just saying that Horror Nights in the past has been a more popular event because they immerse you into your favorite horror films. Um, whereas the other events are, like Rob said, perfect analogy, they're, uh, they're a home haunt at an extreme level where they actually have more of a budget where a lot of these home haunts, and not talking shit about home haunts because we love the home haunts, but a lot yes. of these home haunts are, are donation, you know, uh, they only accept donations really. They don't, some of them charge, but a lot of them how they make their money back is if you donate to their their haunt come time you go visit. So I I think Pandora's Box, back to what I was saying all the way from the start, though, Pandora's Box is going to be fun. I think it's going to be a good time. And if it is the same thing again, I won't be disappointed because there may have been a lot of stuff that I missed the first time around that I'll get to see the second time around. More details, like I never got to see the door actually open up. I've only walked in when it was already open. Um, so if I got to catch that, that'd be really cool. But... Nonetheless, I, I'm looking forward to Pandora's box, and I hope you guys are too. But what do you guys think? In the comments below, let us know. Are you guys excited for Pandora's box return? Or do you wish there was something else coming replacing that spot? <clears throat> Beetlejuice. Anyway, <laughs> with all that being said, uh, I'm Anthony. That's Sammy. That's Rob. 
We are the Knights of Horror. We are excited for Halloween Horror Nights this year. I think we're going to have fun regardless of it. Um, if you guys are new, hit that like button. helps us a lot with the algorithm of YouTube to get the content pushed out there to uh, reach more people. Uh, also, subscribe to the YouTube channel with that bell notification. Be aware every time we put up a new video. That way, uh, you guys are informed when we put up new videos. And Rob, what are we on social media? Oh, on Twitter, we are Knights of Horror. And on Instagram, we are the Knights of Horror. Sammy, what'd you think, man? Was that a good performance right there? Did that that hold up? I think uh, I think I've been replaced. I should just leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just switching it up a little bit, you know. So. Never, never, Sammy. You're here forever. You're here forever. Never say never. Okay, well, that's where we end the video right here. With all that being said, guys, we can't wait to see you at Awakened Spirits. We can't wait to see you at Halloween Horror Nights. We can't wait to see you next week on the channel with a new video. We love each and every one of you, and we'll see you guys really soon.